Hi, hello, welcome. I actually painted my nails, you guys. It took me only three hours, but they're done. I just had to share that because it took me forever to paint. What's up, guys? It's Amelia. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm just gonna be playing with some new makeup that I recently got, like from Ipsy boxes and prom stuff. <laughs> one of those days but yeah I just really wanted to just play with some makeup today have like a little chit chat with you I honestly love doing these videos because it just lets me play with any makeup I really want and uh, I get to talk to you guys yay so yeah if you guys just want to get ready with me grab your makeup bags grab your makeup let's get beat together but yeah if you guys want to get ready with me then just keep watching okay I'm like trying to think of what kind of look I want to go for but I really don't know so first I'm gonna start off with some glow mist I want to try to achieve like a really good base like especially with my breakout going on that was totally my fault by the way you guys I have given up dairy for like the past well i i'm trying to give up dairy for the past like eight months and every time i slip up and have some dairy this happens so now you know if i'm having a breakout it's most likely because i had some dairy mm. i'm just gonna let that sit for a while but yeah i've been really trying to change up my diet and drink a lot more water but it's been really really hard my favorite foods in the world are mac and cheese pizza and milkshakes like i uh so freaking good so knowing i can't have it anymore and it's really hard to find like good alternative cheeses it's a struggle sometimes especially like going out to eat like everything has cheese on it everything has butter on it everything has dairy oh my goodness and i also noticed that when i eat a lot of sugar my skin gets really bad so i'm trying to like really clean up my diet just to see if it like works for my skin so i went grocery shopping this morning i did good i had a clean cart you know <laughs> all right next i'm going to be trying this first aid beauty ultra repair hyaluronic hydrating primer it says it's for sensitive skin Skin, and I've been really trying to look for a new primer so it smells like watermelon I love watermelon part of me is also like not wanting to try new makeup but like how do people do that <laughs> I've been experimenting I'll just give you a little sneak peek with this I'm gonna be trying this out for a month and I'm trying to like not mess with the results but I feel like that's life you know you're never gonna get the perfect situation to try out a new product like perfectly you can try though but today we're trying new makeup next you guys I am so so excited now i get sephora play and i used to show my sephora play boxes but they just started giving me fragrances and skincare and i'm like i can't really show that on camera so i stopped showing it but you guys this month's box is so good hold on we're gonna have a little mini haul right here so first this box was amazing they gave me three foundation samples they gave me a primer a setting spray and a body oil so these are the three foundations right here. We have the Beauty Blender Bounce Foundation, which I've been wanting to try for so long. They also have the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Water Foundation, which really intrigues me because I like the idea that it's a water foundation. And then they also gave me this one, which I've never really looked into, but it's worth a try, you know? It's the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. It sounds super luxurious. Today, I'm really gonna be trying the Bounce one because I've been wanting to try this for like, Ever. They also gave me this Smashbox Photo Finish Smooth and Blur Primer. I'm kind of hesitant to try it because I feel like anything that's smoothing and blurring really can affect my skin. They also gave me this Night Body Serum from Moroccan Oil and I've honestly been looking for like new really different like skin products for like the rest of my body. So yeah, it was a really good box this October. Like I've been debating on canceling it because like I don't show you guys and I get just a lot of skincare but this one was good. I'm gonna go in with the First Aid Beauty Hello Fab Bendy Avocado Concealer. It's my favorite concealer recently because it doesn't break me out around my eyes. So I'm just gonna start with this. Take a little mini sponge and just pat it out. Then I'm going to set my eyes with some Fenty Beauty Lavender Powder. It's so good for when you just wanna brighten your eyes. I'm gonna take a brush, dab, dab, dab. Now I really wanna dip back into the What's the Tea palette from the Balm Cosmetics. I got this as an Ipsy add-on and I've like been obsessed with this palette. And I didn't realize this and someone mentioned this in one of my Ipsy comments, but they have two concealers up here. One is a black shade, which I already swatched because I was like really curious. And then one is just like, it looks just like a beige shade and then it has like a glitter to it. But I'm gonna try this black shade because I hear it changes the colors. Well, both of them are supposed to change the colors, but the black one intrigues me so much. So I'm just gonna like use my finger. I don't know how else I would use this. Like that, this is so weird. And I'm just gonna like, Am I doing this right? Tapping it on my eyelid? That's as good as it's getting, you guys. If you guys know of any tricks, please let me know. I'm a little desperate here. Well, we're gonna dip in. I'm gonna go into this brown color right here. 
I'm gonna use this kind of as a crease color. This is so weird. I don't know if I should have done this, but I wanted to go with a darker look. Like I really want to start stepping out of my comfort zone because you guys love it when I play with like darker eyeshadows and I'm just like, I don't know. I always feel like it looks a little weird, but I just think I'm not used to it. Mm -hmm. What color should I use next? I really want to go into the tell. I love this shade. It's so different. So I think just for now, I'm going to go into the tell all shade. Why not? You know, it's so fun. I'm curious to see what it looks like over this black shadow too. Oh my gosh, it looks like more green. Whoa, it looked pink before. This is so crazy. Whoa. Whoa. Okay, I want to darken this up by going into the scandalous shade, the dark brown they have here. Just really kind of packing it in the outer corner and going into the crease a little bit with any excess that's on the brush. Do any of you guys actually wear like super dark looks like to work and stuff? I feel like if I wore this to work, people would kind of like look at me a little funny. I don't know. I feel like it's a little less professional, obviously, unless you're like in like the beauty industry. I feel like it's just less professional doing like a more extravagant look. So I tend to stick to like more neutral colors. So I'm going to go back into the ooh la la shade. I feel like I have to say that ooh la la. And we're just gonna buff out the edges of this. I kind of want to add a little bit of this pink. This is also my favorite color. It's called Word on the Street. It's like a really pretty pink. I'm gonna add a little bit of that too. I also think I'm gonna take this brush and dip into Hey Girl Hey and kind of pat this just i want the look to be a little warmer i feel like it's a little cold right now and then i really i forgot i had these one of my best friends emily she gave this to me and i think it's just the most beautiful color and i really wanted to wear this it's called milky way it's like this gorgeous purple a little bit on the center oh my gosh it creates like the most beautiful like gradient speaking of eyeshadow has anyone like been keeping up with shane dawson and his whole series like Oh my gosh, as soon as I heard that he was coming out with a palette, I was like, iconic. <laughs> At first, like when they were like picking the shades and stuff, I was like, okay, I just want like the main palette, but then they like switched things up and now I want like the main palette and the mini palette. And then I saw the lip colors and I'm like, well, I have to get the lip colors. Then they had makeup bags and I was like, I'm broke. <laughs> I'm gonna take a little cotton square and I'm just gonna clean up the edges of my eye. I'm going to dig into this beauty blender foundation, but this has like such a weird container. Oh, okay. That was really hard to open. I had to take like some clippers and I like stuck it in. Oh my gosh. This is like an actual cap so you can like keep testing it out. That's so cool. Oh, that's like a really fancy sample. Wow. Okay. And this is in the shade 1.5. I don't know if that's my exact shade. Okay. I'm going to take a damp Juno sponge, my bad, and <laughs> just going to like take some and dot it. We're just gonna pat it out. I hear this is like super weightless and really, really good for people with like super textured skin. Just gonna do like half of my face and we'll go from there. See how I'm liking it? I'm gonna just try and build it up a little bit more on this side because I want a little more full coverage today. I just want like a more flawless kind of complexion. Again, this can also be because of the primer I used, but I feel like this foundation looks Pretty freaking gorgeous on the skin. Okay, I tried to stick to exactly half of my face and this is what it looks like so far. So that's without foundation and this is with the Beauty Blender foundation. I honestly don't feel like I have any foundation on my face, which is really, really crazy. That feels good though, you know? The real test is gonna be over this breakout because this breakout is like, the skin is really rough around there. Okay, it's going over actually really well, like from, you know, what I would expect. It's not flawless, clearly, but I really wasn't expecting a flawless application over this. But I mean, it's pretty dang good. I feel like it's just, if anything, sitting on top of my dry spots. It's not like making it worse. I don't know how I feel about the shade match. I feel like it's a little more pinky than I'm used to. Now moving on to some more concealer. Put this underneath. I've been like really loading up on the concealer, like on my eyes and under my eyes. I don't really know why, but I've been doing it a lot. Okay, I want to go in with these drops called Halo from Cover Effects. I always forget about this shade, but I feel like it would look so pretty with the eye look we're going with. Right on my cheekbone. Going back into this palette, I think I want to dip back into the Ooh La La shade and kind of just give my under eye area just like a little base to start off with. Then I want to take some of that pink shade and kind of just trace underneath that. Then I'm gonna take like my little brow brush, 
I'm gonna dip into tell all. We'll see how well this color will show up underneath my eyes. I'm just gonna kind of trace it a little bit underneath. And I just wanna dip a little bit more into scandalous and kind of put it, just darken up the edges a teeny tiny bit. Then I'm gonna dip into the spill the bean shade. It's so pretty. Add this to the center and kind of like bring it up a little bit. And I totally forgot to set my under eye area. Do any of you guys ever do that? You like forget a step and then like you leave for work and you're thinking about it all day. Okay, quickly set the under eye area. And I'm gonna take some Peach Perfect Too Faced powder and use this for the rest of my face. Next, I wanna contour a bit with my Smashbox Cali Contour Palette and I'm literally just gonna take the contour shade that's in here and see what I can do with it. And has anyone watched the Looking for Alaska series on Hulu? I watched the first two episodes. It's so freaking good. That's actually the first book I read by John Green. It was a I believe it was a classroom assigned book or like we got a list and we got to choose. So I just happened to pick that one. I thought it was really good, but I didn't think anything, you know, too fancy of John Green. I just knew I liked the book. And then he actually came and visited our high school and he read us a chapter of Paper Towns. That's how far long ago it was because his book Paper Towns just came out and he read to the class and like, it was really, really exciting. And I remember one of my friends was so excited to meet him and I was like, okay like you know it's just an author but then i started reading all of his books and then i discovered the log brothers and the rest was history and i love john green i love their podcast and oh, so good by the way i have high school musical stuck in my head oh my gosh i was obsessed with high school musical when i was in high school like when it came out i was like I'm kind of thinking this one from Burt's Bees. It is their 1205 Bare Peach Blush. I loved this blush last fall and I recently pulled it back out again and it's like just as good as I remember. So I don't know if this is going to be too warm for the look though. How are we feeling about that? I'm not mad, but I'm like not psyched about it. We're gonna dip into this Tarte palette that was a limited edition. Maybe we can find one that works with here. The first one I'm kind of gravitated towards is this Endless shade. Maybe like layer that over a little bit. Okay, actually I'm like really digging this. Then I wanna take, and then I just wanna add a little bit of that color to my eyes just to make the look a little more cohesive. I'm just gonna take a little bit and lightly go over the crease with it. Oh, I also wanna know, are any of you guys picking up the Disney Plus subscription service? I am a huge fan of Disney. I love all of their movies so freaking much, but I don't know if I wanna pay for that. I don't really watch as much as I used to of Disney, which is really sad because I literally used to pick like an old Disney movie every single night during one summer. I remember that. I think I was in like high school and I just literally watched so many Disney films that summer. Like just every night I picked one. It was great. I love that was good times, man. You know, I feel like I want just more contour. I'm just gonna build it up. Why not? And you guys, I have been obsessed with this trusty highlight that I got in my Ipsy. I'm not usually into this ultraviolet thing, but for some reason this one's so pretty. I want to just just like put this on my eyeshadow brush just a little bit and just kind of like put it in the crease a little. I don't know how much it's gonna like show up. I'm gonna use some Anastasia Brow Wiz. Something's missing. I feel like I need to work on my lower lash line more. Go into the la la color. I'm just gonna build up my lower lash line a little bit, maybe connect it to the outer edge. Maybe take a little bit, like a little, little, little bit of the dark color and kind of do the same, maybe sticking to like the outer third though. Then we're gonna go all out today with some black liquid liner. I feel like I rarely pull this out anymore, but I feel like this look is more dramatic, so it calls for it. Okay, I think that's as even as it's getting for now at least. I don't know if this is gonna go either. I have the worst time with lipsticks. Part of me feels like this will go, but the other part of me is like, girl, Still not really digging it, but I feel like I also want to do a little bit of this. Oh, by the way, this was the Healthy Lip from Physicians Formula in the shade Nutritious. And then we also got from Seraphine Botanicals Berry and Juice Vegan Lip Gel. Kind of dab it on. Ooh, yeah. I like where this is headed. Mm, I forgot how much I love this. Mascara, I'm just going to dip into my Too Faced Hoover Dam Girl Mascara. <laughs> and I also just wanted to put a little more glowy mist on. Oh, and last but not least, I wanted to try out the CoverFX High Performance Setting Spray. I normally stick to Urban Decay, but we're gonna try this. There's a ball in it. it smells 
pretty good. It smells pretty good. We'll see how long that actually lasts. All right, you guys, so this is kind of the finished look I was able to come up with today. I'm actually like really, really, really happy about it. I always like the looks I create when I step outside my comfort zone a bit. So that's always a good thing, right? I'm like, like that black primer was like, whoa, you know? So yeah, I think this is the end of my video. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. It really, really does help support my channel. And question of the day, what makeup look are you guys wearing today? Are you wearing something drastic, supernatural? Are you just bare skin today, like letting your skin breathe? That's probably the best way to go. <laughs> also, if you guys are new to my channel, hi, I'm Amelia. <laughs> If you guys want to see more beauty tutorials and reviews and just fun videos like this, please subscribe to my channel by hitting the red subscribe button that is right down below. And be sure to hit the little notification bell that is right next to the subscribe button. This way you guys will get notified every Tuesday and Friday when I upload a brand new video. I hope you guys have an absolute beautiful and stunning, gorgeous rest of your day, and I will see you next time.